And Coder Glover's been in the DL now since June the 11th. What was a b lower back problem? Now we've got some new news and maybe why he may be on the DL a little bit longer. That's right, Johnny. Talking to Coda Glover a little bit earlier on this afternoon, he reveals that while it is the lower back stiffness that originally landed him on the disabled list, the big issue with him right now is actually with his throwing shoulder. He's got some inflammation to the rotator cuff in that shoulder, and he's had a couple strains in there as well. So he uh, continues to be shut down for the foreseeable future when it comes to a throwing program. Not something that he's started yet, not something that he's likely to start for you know at least the the couple weeks probably to come and obviously we'll check in uh, with coda as we progress towards the all-star break and see how he's coming along but here is coda glover a little bit earlier on today just kind of updating us on his current medical problem before the back went out um i'd felt it in the shower and you know i went to the trainers got worked on um uh, and, and they loosened it up enough to where i was able to go out that day and I think pitching that day just made it worse. And uh, knowing that my back went out, the next day I couldn't even lift my arm. And so now we're dealing with the shoulder. Oh yeah, MRI. It's a severe inflammation of the rotator cuff and two strains and a couple of, you know, this and that. It's not really a huge deal, but the inflammation, we're, we're still waiting for it to go away. Um, I'm just glad I'm able to lift my arm now. The thing is, is like, I guess my pain tolerance is pretty high and, you know, I, I, I didn't really know what was sore, what, what was hurt. Nothing was really hurt, hurt, I thought. So I just kept pitching. Um, and just over time, I guess, uh, just broke down. So my body broke down with it, with overcompensation, so. Uh, it's one of them things where I'm just going to have to take a step back, rest, get strong, and then hopefully come back. It's obviously frustrating. You want to play. It's what, uh, it's what you wake up to do. It's your job, you know. Um, but it's one of them things where it's kind of out of your control. Uh, I'm just doing what I can to, to get healthy, get back as soon as possible. Now, rarely ever are baseball players 100% healthy in the truest sense. They're constantly dealing with something, pitching through, playing through some sort of medical problem. You kind of learn talking to guys as you progress in your pro career how you deal with that discomfort. When do you try and play through it? When do you tell the team, the medical staff, that it's time, something that you can't play through, that it's time to shut it down? That's something that Coda Glover, as a younger player, admits that he's still kind of dealing with, figuring out his body. He's not used to being hurt this frequently. So Johnny Coda admitting that he's going to kind of have to adjust things going forward, uh, deal with his high pain tolerance, and figure out when he's maybe just dealing with a little nagging pain and when it might be time to talk to the training staff, talk to the team, and get it shut down. Yeah, I'm sure very, very disappointed. Is, is Coda